Okay, uh, this is going to be a video to uh, test uh, some bolt carriers, specifically to check for leaks around the gas key. Uh, not scientific by any stretch of the imagination. Um, what led to this is I built a 6.5 Creedmoor uh, rifle and uh, couldn't get the thing to cycle to lock the, the single round back. Uh, and uh, the uh, I checked everything questioned everything. One of the last things I questioned was the bolt carrier group. I uh, never would have questioned it. Uh, that particular one is a ballistic advantage. And uh, I checked that bolt carrier after checking everything else and, and changing it with other parts, not you know, being able to get the cycle. I uh, checked that bolt carrier group and, and sure enough it was it was leaking around the gas key. Um, so they sent me a new one. I have not shot that one yet, but I'm going to put that new one in this test with other bolt carriers. Uh, the bolt carriers we're going to be testing today are, are going to be a Aero Precision Nickel Boron bolt carrier that uh, probably has uh, less than 100 rounds through it. Uh, and we're going to test a Brownells Nitrite bolt carrier group that's brand new out of the package. And uh, then we're going to do the brand new, uh, uh, before that we'll do the uh, Wilson, we've got a Wilson Combat. It's uh, fairly new. It's got a total of three rounds through it because that one wouldn't cycle either so we're going to test that one it's a low mass wilson combat bolt carrier group all 308 bolt carrier groups uh, and then last but not least we'll test the the new replacement uh, ballistic advantage bolt carrier group the test you'll see i'm going to do the best i can with a tripod and uh in order to get this on video but uh, i basically have my air compressor set for 100, 120 psi which isn't nothing compared to obviously the the pressure that the uh, is going to be pushed through the gas key uh, during the cycling But I think it's going to be enough to to demonstrate and I'm going to uh, wet the uh, gas key area with WD-40 to give us uh, The ability for some visual representation if if any bubbles form so that's what you'll be looking at Okay, first up here is the aero precision uh, nickel bar boron again uh, this, this uh, bolt carrier has run reliably for me in a couple different guns I've tried it in. And uh, it's got less than 100 rounds through it, though. Um, and where you're going to be looking for bubbles is along the gas key here. You can't see the other side because of the video. Perhaps in the back and in the front. So I'm just going to soak this down in those areas. And see what happens here. It's not scientific, and I'm trying to do this while I'm... Got another camera. I don't see anything there on that one. Go from that to this brown L's. This is, again, as I mentioned, a brand new, out of the box. Bolt carrier, never been fired. Next up, this Wilson Combat. Again, it's got three rounds through it. I'm gonna try it in another gun, but in the, in the 6.5 Creedmoor I tried it in, it was an abysmal failure. It was the worst cycling of, of all of my attempts so far. And you see bubbles coming out of the back. Bolts trying to come out too. See if we can push that in. Bubble coming out on the side, you see right there, and in the back. So that's a failure. That explains why that one cycled so poorly. And here's the brand new ballistic advantage. Out of 
So this one it also fails. I'm going to test fire it, but I expect to have the same the same reaction when I when I shot the first the first the bolt carrier they sent me. I expect it to fail. I'll be sending this video to them to get their take on it. We'll we'll see what happens. I also suspect maybe the barrel may have a uh, incorrect gas port on it, but I don't have a gas. Uh, I'm sorry, a, a proper pin gauge to check that. So I'm trying to figure out what I can do for that before I send that back to them for checking too.